Purdue University presents Boiler Nation, featuring physics on the road. Purdue University has always taken pride in their community and the communities in the surrounding areas. Through fundraising and service-oriented programs, they contribute to the people of Central Indiana. The Physics Department is no exception. In conjunction with the University's Community Outreach Program, the Department of Physics has developed a highly successful outreach program of their own. Physics Educational Assistance Resources and Learning Strategies, better known as PEARLS, was established to bring the excitement of the physical sciences to students, teachers, and schools that may not otherwise be exposed to the world of physics. Physics on the Road is an outreach effort directed toward young students who get to see the magic of physics firsthand. Working closely with the class curriculum and the teacher's vision, this traveling physics fun fest has impacted over 30,000 students every year since 1991. Dr. Keith Adams, professor and outreach coordinator, has taken his Physics on the Road show to the streets. This is one way Purdue is bringing pearls of science wisdom to the young minds of their community. The outreach itself is important from the College of Science because it brings a lot of the research, the education opportunities that we have at the university out into the public schools and out into the community as a whole. And it allows us to, to let the community know the great research that's going on at Purdue, let them know that some of the great educational programs we have at Purdue, and to really get them excited about the idea of science and Purdue University. What I have here is a piece of Tigon tubing. Tigon tubing is tubing that we use in the laboratories. It's flexible, it stretches, we can tie it in a knot, all right? We can bang it on the table and nothing happens to it. But if we take this tube and we freeze it, what do you think is going to happen? It'll just stand straight. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it in my liquid nitrogen. And I'm going to let it freeze there for a moment. I'm going to take it out. And see that? What happened to it? It's frozen, isn't it? I can use this and I can actually use it to pick up this little thermos. If I'm very careful, I can pick up this thermos. But the other characteristic that changed is that if I happen to go like this, what happened? It shattered. And now, it changed the physical characteristics. Remember I said that this was colder than space? Yeah. What do you think would happen if we had a hammer that was made here on Earth at 70 degrees, we took it up to space, and we pounded nails with a hammer in space at 300 degrees below zero? Do you think the hammer would work? What do you think would happen to the hammer? It would probably shatter. So the tools, the tools that the astronauts use in space are very special tools made in a very special way. All right? You don't go down to your local Ace Hardware store and buy a hammer. You have to have a hammer that's specially designed to work in cold temperatures. That's what we do here. If you compress the atoms of all 40,000 plus Purdue students into a ball a million times smaller than the diameter of a proton, you would create a black hole. This presentation of the Big Ten Network is brought to you by Purdue University, preparing tomorrow's leaders for a changing world.
Purdue students arrive on campus, they're beginning much more than a four-year education. They're embarking on a journey of discoveries that will change their lives in the world. At Purdue, students learn to advance science, business, and global thinking to deliver solutions for the cultural, political, and economic challenges facing people across the globe. At Purdue, we are preparing tomorrow's leaders to deliver solutions for our changing world. Energa Incorporated creates advanced optical instrumentation for analysis of combustion systems and specializes in absorption and emission spectroscopy, measurement and control of varied processes. Purdue Research Park. The idea economy is here. Space LLC develops advanced injector and combustion initiation technologies for chemical propellant rocket engines to achieve mission velocity increment requirements at maximum propellant mass fractions and specific increases. Purdue Research Park. The idea economy is here. arrive on campus, they're beginning much more than a four-year education. They're embarking on a journey of discoveries that will change their lives in the world. At Purdue, students learn to advance science, business, and global thinking to deliver solutions for the cultural, political, and economic challenges facing people across the globe. At Purdue, we are preparing tomorrow's leaders to deliver solutions for our changing world. I guess my favorite part of the show was really watching the kids get excited about science. Because I think that as a science teacher in the elementary building, a lot of times what we do is we encourage them to ask questions and explore the world around them. And he really did help them inspire that with the kids. Some things change when they get cold. We have a balloon, all right? Yellow balloon, one of my favorite. Here. Just a regular balloon. What would happen if I put this in liquid nitrogen? Think about it. Make a prediction in your head. All right? Now, what's your name? Kennedy. Kennedy, come here. Come on up here. <laughs> You're going to do this for me. Okay? I want you to hold the balloon just like that. I want you to walk over here. All right. We're going to take this liquid nitrogen and I want you to put the balloon in the liquid nitrogen. Okay. Put put it in the balloon. Put it in the beaker. All right. Listen. Listen. Can you hear that? What what do you think is happening? How about the girl in the pink? It's freezing. it's freezing. What's happening to the air inside the balloon? Is it coming out? Does that mean if, if, if Kennedy pulls the balloon out, that she's going to have to blow it up again? No. Yeah. Yes? No? How many say yes? She'll have to blow the balloon up again. How many say no? She won't have to blow the balloon up again. Let's find out. Kennedy, pull the balloon out. Is the air going back into the balloon? Do you think so? What's your favorite part about learning science? Uh, the scientific method. The scientific method. Can you explain that a little bit? Well, there's uh, the question, then you do a hypothesis, which is like your prediction. Then you do procedures, and then you do it, and then you make a conclusion about your um, experiment. So, yeah. To... I'm going to make some noise. All right. I'm going to pour the liquid nitrogen in here, in this little cylinder. 
And I'm going to let this liquid nitrogen expand Now remember, the liquid nitrogen is expanding, is it not? It's expanding, it's expanding, and in fact, it is expanding so much, it's going to expand to a thousand times. It's gonna fall, I'm scared. Is it? How big will this balloon get? A lot, really big. Really big? It can fall. And when gas expands a thousand times from a liquid to a gas, it fills this volume, right? Now that's a pretty big balloon, isn't it? Yeah. And, and that's not a lot of liquid nitrogen in here. And in fact, I can pour what's left in there. I'm going to pour a little bit more liquid nitrogen in there. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Here we go. Expanding gas builds up pressure, and that's exactly what. Someone had said champagne, right? Or sparkling cider. That's exactly what happens. The carbon dioxide inside builds up pressure, and when you pop the cork, just like we did here, all the gas expands and pushes the corks out and projects them out in the back. If all 3,000 students of the cheering section in Mackey Arena were to yell for 11.8 days, they would generate enough energy to heat up a cup of coffee. Fighting cancer is personal for me. I watched my mom die from it. Cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, heart disease, lupus, at endocyte, we're working on a better way to treat all of these. Four of our drugs, based on discoveries at Purdue University, are now in nationwide clinical trials. At Purdue Research Park, we look beyond the innovations to build companies like Endosite, create jobs, and touch lives. Purdue Research Park, the idea economy is here. Akina Incorporated specializes in the development and research of novel drug delivery technologies that include super porous hydrogels for gastric retention and diet control. Hydrotropic polymer mycel for delivery. Purdue Research Park. The idea economy is here. When students walk across the Purdue University campus, they're doing more than going to class. They're preparing to meet the challenges of a diverse and fast-paced world. Purdue students encounter ideas that span oceans and cross continents, inspiring new levels of innovation that will build a better future for people at home and around the globe. At Purdue, we're preparing tomorrow's leaders to deliver solutions for our changing world. PC Krause and Associates utilizes advanced modeling and simulation to design and analyze future integrated power systems for military and commercial applications. Purdue Research Park. The idea economy is here. Fighting cancer is personal for me. I watched my mom die from it. Cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, heart disease, lupus, at endocyte, we're working on a better way to treat all of these. Four of our drugs, based on discoveries at Purdue University, are now in nationwide clinical trials. At Purdue Research Park, we look beyond the innovations to build companies like Endosite, create jobs, and touch lives. Purdue Research Park, the idea economy is here. My favorite part is wowing the kids. 
when, when you make a lot of noise, you set fire to things, you blow things up, and the kids go crazy, that's my favorite part of the show. I need a flight attendant. The red and black with your school colors, this is perfect, come on up. That's what I like to see, school spirit, this is great. Wait a minute. Flappy? Yeah. <laughs> is that your real name? No. no. No? What's your real name? Audrey. Audrey, but you like Flappy? Yeah. Okay. Flappy, you want to be called Flappy? Yeah. Flappy, how are you? Good. Good to see you, Flappy. Is that what you did? No, no, no. What about on the back? What do you see here? It says Westlake Agora All Stars Girls Softball Team. So I guess you know what this is, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Come over here. You're going to be my flight attendant. You've ridden an airplane before? Okay. You know what to do when the passengers board the airplane? No. No? You, what did the flight attendants do when the passengers boarded your airplane? Huh? Tell you where to sit. Tell you where to sit. Okay, I'll tell you what. Here, come over here. Here are your passengers. Here's one passenger. Here's another passenger. Here's another passenger. Here's another passenger. Don't drop your passengers now. They're fried. They paid a lot of money for this. Here's another passenger. All right, you ready? You're going to tell them where to sit. There's your airplane. Have them take their seats. All right, Flappy. Thank you very much. Her passengers boarded the plane safely. They're going to take off. Are you ready? We're going to go up to 15,000 feet. We're going to see what happens at 15,000 feet. Watch. I think these passengers had a very good flight, do you? No, I don't think so. What if we took an astronaut and put him up in space? Well, you know there's no air in space, right? If there's no air in space, then there's no air pressure. And if there's no air pressure, then he needs something to keep the air pressure constant on his body, or what would happen would be the same thing that happened to those balloons. Well, I've, I've got my sculpture. This is my friendly neighborhood astronaut. We're going to put him up in space. And we're going to see what happens to him. Unfortunately, this time, we're not going to put a space suit on him. Oh, no. He's going to die. So what's going to happen to my astronaut? Uh, here's where we're going to think. We're going to make a prediction. We're going to observe. And we're going to see if our predictions are accurate. You ready? What's happening? He's getting buff, isn't he? He's kind of bulking up a little bit. Pretty soon we're going to have to call him Stay Puff, aren't we? But here's the question for you. If I bring him back to Earth, what's going to happen to him? What's going, is he going to A, Stay the same. B, get bigger. C, get smaller. 
Most of you said C. Let's, let's find out, all right? Here we go. Did he, did he stay the same? No. Did he get bigger? No. He got smaller, didn't he? Yeah. So C was the right answer, wasn't it? Yeah. Dr. Franz Cordova serves as Purdue's 11th and first female president. She is an astrophysicist and former chief scientist for NASA. When students walk across the Purdue University campus, they're doing more than going to class. They're preparing to meet the challenges of a diverse and fast-paced world. Purdue students encounter ideas that span oceans and cross continents, inspiring new levels of innovation that will build a better future for people at home and around the globe. At Purdue, we're preparing tomorrow's leaders to deliver solutions for our changing world. on campus, they're beginning much more than a four-year education. They're embarking on a journey of discoveries that will change their lives in the world. At Purdue, students learn to advance science, business, and global thinking to deliver solutions for the cultural, political, and economic challenges facing people across the globe. At Purdue, we are preparing tomorrow's leaders to deliver solutions for our changing world. Fighting cancer is personal for me. I watched my mom die from it. Cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, heart disease, lupus, at endocyte, we're working on a better way to treat all of these. Four of our drugs, based on discoveries at Purdue University, are now in nationwide clinical trials. At Purdue Research Park, we look beyond the innovations to build companies like endocyte, create jobs, and touch lives. Purdue Research Park, the idea economy is here. This presentation of the Big Ten Network is brought to you by Purdue University, preparing tomorrow's leaders for a changing world. I thought the physics show from Purdue today coming to our school at West Clay was awesome because it does that little shock and awe with the kids and it gets them up and excited about science. It's, it shows them that science is alive and it can be really fun and interesting. This whole time we've been talking and we've been using our voices to communicate, right? Our voices create in the air waves, simple sine waves. We don't see that. I'm going to show you all right, how we can make waves and you're going to be able to see them. What I have here, it's called a Rubens tube. And I'm going to fill it with propane gas. This tube is about two meters long. And I have attached to it, there's some air currents in here. I have attached to it a speaker. And I'm going to, anybody in here play music? So when I say A440, what does that mean? What an A is, a concert A, is 440 cycles per second. In other words, it vibrates 440 times a second. Now, it's hard to see that wave, but if I play a series of notes, all right, watch what happens. What you're seeing are the vibrations, the air waves. So when the waves were low, what happened? What did you see? The flames were going up. And as, as the waves got higher and higher in pitch, all right, 
But you know what? That's not a lot of fun, is it? So the last thing I want to do today is <clears throat> I want to put a little bit of music on. Watch the waves, the sound waves, as they go through the tube. You ready? Any questions? And, and one thing I always like to do is I always like to clean up after myself when I finish. All right? So um, if, you, if everyone would kind of scoot back a little bit. And since you guys were so great, all right, and I always got to clean up after myself, you know, and you guys have to clean up after yourselves too, right? So I'm going to clean the carpet. You ready? It's really exciting for Purdue to be able to offer something like this for kids because it's really hard on especially in the elementary building to expand the walls and so when Purdue brings in programs like this one with the physics it breaks down the walls for the kids in the elementary building and it opens up the world to them and we are very appreciative that Purdue could come and do that for us. And it has been a model for many other universities to do the same type of stuff and it's the it's this excitement and the reputation that we have and, and the ability to go on the road that we're going to continue this program from president all the way down through the deans and the chairs of the departments. They're excited about the program. They're excited about the outreach that we do to the community schools. So for all of the other Indiana schools around here, we're there and we want to be at your school doing this, exciting your kids about science. If you'd like more information about Physics on the Road or Purdue's Physics Department, check them out on the web at physics.purdue.edu.